In this video, we'll recreate the simple UI animation from one of Iman's latest videos. This is a beginner-friendly one, but I think there's something to learn for everyone. The assets for this project can be found in the second link in the description. So go ahead and grab those and let's get started. All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial about designing something like this and animating it, of course. And this is from Iman's latest video, so thought it would be pretty nice to recreate it. There are only two assets needed for this project. I have them over here. I'm just going to place them over to the to the project panel. So yeah, we can start by making a new comp here. I'll just call this Iman animation. Make this 1920 by 1080. Duration can be however long you want and background can be black. All right, nice. Now let's start with making the background. So you can right click and make a new solid and just call this BG background. And now actually I kind of fooled you guys. We need one more asset, which is this dotted background overlay. So let's just import that as well. And let's start designing the background. So first effect we're going to add is a four color gradient. So this one, you can type over here in the effects and presets, or you can use this plugin, FX plugin, I think it's called. It's super useful if you use After Effects a lot. And let's just add this effect and make, make all of this black. You can make the first one black, and then you can just take this eyedropper tool and select the previous one. And now we're going to go back to this first one, and we're going to make it some kind of yellow color something similar to what Iman had. This is pretty nice so I'll go with that. Now with the effect selected you can see these dots. I'm just gonna drag this dot a lot to the left so it's not too much and I'm just gonna play around a bit with these colors to get something something nice like this. Pretty good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and import the dotted background overlay. So this one. Just import it to the timeline and then you can press S on your keyboard and scale it down because it's pretty massive. So scale it down to something like this. Then I'm going to go to this mode here and I'm going to change it to maybe multiply. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm going to play around with the scale a bit and I'm going to place it kind of like this. Then I'm going to decrease the opacity by hitting T and just decreasing the slider so it's not too much. And this is looking pretty good. You can even scale it down a bit more because we don't have to have the dots showing on this black space only here where the yellow is showing. So, something like this. I'll make this color a bit more orangey. Something like this. Now this background is looking pretty nice, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and start designing the first box here. And now it's going to be very simple. You're going to go over here to this rectangle tool. You're going to hold it and select the rounded rectangle tool. So this one. And then you can set the fill on and the stroke on. You can hold Alt or Option and click this and it's going to cycle through the modes. Then you can just draw a nice little box, something like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and align it here on the align panel. You might have it on the right side, I have it here on the left. So just click this one and this one and it's in the center, perfect. Now we can also center the anchor point. I'm gonna use this motion tools plugin, which is also a free plugin, you should definitely get this. So center the anchor point right there. If you don't have it, you can also shift command, double click this anchor point tool and you should center it. Now I'm gonna make the stroke one pixel and make the fill not exactly black but really close to it so like a dark really dark dark gray a bit darker yeah something like this this looks pretty nice now let's go ahead and design the magnifying glass which you had over here so you can again go to this tool hold it and select the ellipse tool then you can hold shift and command or shift and control if you're on windows and hold it and just draw a circle like this it's perfect you can move it over here you can also center the anchor point on this and then you can press S on your keyboard and scale it down a bit and that's looking all right. For this we're gonna make the stroke like maybe four pixels and you can turn the fill off. So hold alt and click it off just like this. Then we can make this a dark gray so something like this. That looks pretty good. You can make it a bit thicker maybe five pixels. It's not that deep. Then you can press G for the pen tool. Make sure nothing is selected and you can draw a point here and a point over here. And you're gonna get this nice little magnifying glass. Now with this stroke layer selected, you can type over here, just type in stroke one and open this. And here you have the line cap and the line join. I'm just gonna make these round, a round cap and a round join. And it's just gonna make these edges round. Perfect. And you can move this kind of like this. It's a bit too thin, so I'm gonna select both of them. Well, let's actually make this like eight pixels. And this stroke is a bit, you know, it's not, not going like it should. So you can press G and you can kind of click this, adjust it till it looks good, basically. 
All right, now with a tiny bit of adjustments later, you should have it look at something like this. Just a nice looking magnifying glass. Perfect. Now let's add the text so I can press Command T for the type tool and click here and just type in. Perfect. And can select it, drag it like this and decrease the font size so it fits the whole box. So just like this. And you want to leave some space in the end and in the beginning whenever you're designing some UI stuff like this because otherwise it's not gonna look good. There we go, that's pretty beautiful. Now the font I think is Montserrat Medium. Actually I lied, the font is Helvetica Regular, I think. Pretty sure there's not really a way to confirm this but this looks a bit better. So yeah, we'll go with this. Now there's a tiny detail which Iman's editor added to the text and we're gonna do that as well. So if you right click over here and you go to layer styles and you click this bevel and emboss thing, it's gonna make it kind of 3D have some depth and we can kind of play around with these settings a bit. I'm gonna make this chisel soft so the technique and direction can be down I think and you can decrease the size a bit maybe like three so it's not too much and yeah that's the same effect Iman's editor added to the text for some reason haven't seen him do this ever but hey first time for everything then there's also another layer style added to the text which is a uh, uh, gradient overlay so you can add that as well go to the gradient overlay edit gradient and you can make this first color white and the second color not exactly black but kind of like it and I'm gonna make the angle like 270 so the white is on top and the black is on bottom and I'm gonna decrease the opacity a bit and make the yeah make the scale a bit bigger and yeah, get a look at something like this. This is pretty nice. Now let's do some more effects. So on this shape box, you can add a CC light sweep. So this one. And you can go over here to the effect controls and you can turn the sweep intensity to zero. So we don't have this, this thing going on here. And now that it's off, you can increase the edge intensity and the width. And for this, we want the left side to have this orangey color. And on the bottom right, we want the, the blue color. So you can change this direction thing with this slider to make the first one to the right. Yeah, and by the way, you should also center this center point. So this one, selecting this and placing it in the center. So everything's gonna work like it should. Then we can just kind of play around with the colors or the intensities and the width sliders. It's gonna look kind of nice. Now while I'm playing around with these colors, I wanna say a quick word about Creator Syndicate, a platform run by one of the biggest names in the editing space. Inside you get full masterclasses on video editing and how to actually make money with it. I mean at this point there's around 100 hours of valuable training which you won't find anywhere else. Not to mention the weekly group calls where you can network, ask any questions and get feedback on your edits directly from the top creators in the game. It's exactly how I, an 18 year old kid, started making my first real money online. This is not a sponsored video, it's just my honest opinion. So check the first link in the description and I'll see you on the next group call. This is pretty good for me. The last thing just change the color to this orangey color. Beautiful. Now you can just duplicate this light sweep effect and pretty much change the direction to the opposite side. So kind of like this and then make it a some kind of dark blue color something like this a bit darker and we're gonna make this intensity a bit smaller so it's just a subtle subtle look that's pretty beautiful all right next we can add the typewriter effect to this text to get a typewriter effect no way and you can press u on this text layer select these keyframes easy them by hitting f9 and bringing them way closer so something like this, pretty nice. We're actually gonna duplicate this text. We can delete the typewriter effect. So deleting the keyframes, then we can bring it over here and just type in the one result found. All right, now we can animate this text. So opening this text layer and clicking animate and selecting this position thing. Then we can open the range selector, you can open the advanced and you can make this based on by words. Then you can keyframe this position, push it a bit forward and you can make this second slider, have it come down, like this. Then we can keyframe this start, go to the second keyframe and make it 100. Now we can easy ease everything and we can make a graph like, make like a 70 graph. Extend them a bit and then of course place this text layer under the box. So now it appears like that. Awesome. This text we're gonna maybe make a light 
I think that's a bit better. And we're going to decrease the font size a bit. Kind of place it over here. And we might also, you can select it, search for the gradient overlay and decrease the opacity a bit on this. Doesn't have to be such a crazy gradient. Awesome. Now you can go over here to like maybe three seconds and you can zoom in on this laziest text and you can press G with nothing selected and you can make a dot here and make a dot here. Make sure the stroke is on and make it white. We're going to make the size maybe three pixels or actually maybe two. Don't make it too big. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And we're actually going to make it a bit darker so it kind of matches the text. So something like this. That's great. Now you can cut it here by hitting option and left bracket. And then we can open it and add a trim pass. You can open the trim pass, keyframe this end, push it a bit forward, make it zero, select everything, press F9, go to the graph editor and make a nice little semi graph. Beautiful. Now we're going to start animating the zoom ins and the mouse and stuff like that. So we can select everything except for the little, the bottom two layers. So the background and the background dots. So select them and make them 3D. And now we can take our mouse. So we should have a mouse somewhere. So this one and import it to the timeline. Yeah, this mouse is actually kind of terrible quality. So I'm going to have to find a different mouse. Alright, here we have this mouse, it's not as beautiful as the actual MacBook mouse which I found, but this one's actually high quality, so we are gonna go with this. I'm just gonna kinda scale it down to begin with, so hitting S and scaling it down to something like this. And then we're gonna make a position keyframe around here, a bit smaller, so position keyframe around here, so pressing P and clicking that. And then going back, and we're gonna drag this mouse somewhere around here. Then we're gonna press G for the pen tool. And if we hover over this mouse, it's going to convert to this, this tool. And if we hold and drag, we can make a graph like this. It's going to be way more realistic. So it's not a linear, linear movement. It's more like a mouse would move. So let's do something like this. And we're also going to easy ease this. So hitting F9 and making like a, like a 70 graph. I don't like this. And we're going to make a small opacity frame here. So T for opacity and making a frame like this so it's not showing when it shouldn't be yeah kind of like that you also want to make the mouse 3d so it's gonna follow up with the camera movements we're gonna do now so right click and make a new camera and make a one node camera this can be 50 mils and then right off the bat you can also make a null object and just parent this camera to the null object and make it 3d now open the null object and press position on the very start so position keyframe and we're gonna push this forward like this. We're gonna go to like two seconds and we're gonna have it zoom out. Select them, F9, and for this we're gonna make the graph like this. So pull the right one all the way to the left. Yeah, that's, that's great. We can extend this a bit. And then we can make a keyframe around here before the line and the mouse start appearing. Make a new position keyframe and just have it zoom in on the laziest text. So like this. And for this we can make a normal graph, like 70. So like this, and extend it a bit. Beautiful. And then we're gonna make the final box animation. So make sure nothing's selected. Go over here and select the rounded rectangle tool. Make a rectangle like this. Stroke can be on, so as to fill. And the stroke can be a bit darker of a white. Should be one pixel, and this can be this nice dark gray kind of blackish color and for this we can make the opacity a bit lower so lower it to like maybe 95 gonna get a better look i'm gonna place this under the camera i'm gonna cut it kind of over here and let's add the contents to the box so we have the speaker icon here and this one is massive so s and scale it down then for this we're gonna add a effect called color key so this one and basically what we can do is we can just select the white with this eyedropper tool and we can remove the background easily. Now let's scale this thingy down all the way like this. Then we can copy these texts we used before. So I'm just going to duplicate this big text which we used. I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to type in lazy equals smart. And for this the font we can use Montserrat, maybe even extra bold. Yeah, this one. And I think we went this bevel and embossing way too big, so I'm gonna kind of decrease the depth. Place it, 
resize it you know the drill then we can also type in the text which he had below it and we can just type in whatever he had i have to check this and then we can make this like monster uh, light maybe yeah we can make the color like a dark gray that's pretty nice maybe make it a uh, regular it's a bit bigger duplicate this place it right there and change the text all right so here's the text which he had you can copy this if you want to it takes some time to add so went ahead and did that but yeah now we have this box pretty much done now what we'll do is we'll take these texts let's run the camera and this is our box layer so everything we just add it to the box, we're gonna select, and we're gonna parent the box. And now when we move the box around, we can, the thing is, follow it. And as you can see, it's not working right, and that's because these are not 3D, so we have to make them 3D. So yeah, kind of a mistake on my end, we gotta resize them a bit. But yeah, here we go, now it's working. Now we can scale this down. We're gonna unlink the size and we're gonna make it a bit smaller, so just like this. Place it a bit above the original box, kind of like this. Now the way we're going to animate this is super simple. Place the anchor point to the bottom, bottom right here. You can use this plugin if you have it, go download it if you haven't. And it's going to place the anchor point in the bottom. Or you can hold Y and move the anchor point around like that, but just use the plugin. Then you can make a scale keyframe, push it a bit forward and just make the scale zero. Easy is this and pull the right one all the way to the left. Perfect. Some final touches. You have to make this mouse actually click. So over here, where it's about to hit it, or it's already on top of it. Make a scale keyframe on the mouse. Go like 5 frames forward and decrease the size by like 4. And then you can copy this first keyframe. Go 5 frames forward again and place it like this. Then you can F9 this and there we have a nice little click. If you want to, you can select them, hold this last one and hold the option to extend them. And that's pretty nice. You can also decrease this a bit more if you want to have a stronger click. But yeah, this is pretty nice. I'm gonna make this zoom in a bit more, kind of like this. Nice. Now let's add some final effects. The first thing I noticed this box, the stroke has to be a bit darker. Doesn't look that good. So yeah, this is way better. Then we're gonna add some glow to everything. So I have this preset glow, which I'm gonna use. You can copy these glow settings if you want to. Here they are. I'm just going to kind of slap it around everything. Again, here's the glow settings. If you want to copy them, I have a preset of this. You can make a preset of this also. It's a pretty nice glow. To this line, this text, and the speaker thing is pretty hard to see. So let's add a tint effect and let's make this a bit lighter. Might as well slap on some glow on that as well. The light sweeps are not showing that well, so I'm going to increase the intensities a bit. And same thing for this other one, make it show a bit more. Final thing, Command A, put motion blur on everything. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out this video for more and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.